yeah Good evening, everybody. How is everyone in the chat doing? We have a wonderful show for you guys tonight. Uh, I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me. Um, and let's see what the chat is up to. We got quite a few guests. I mean, quite a few people in the chat. We have one guest, uh, and that is the wonderful Mark Brooks. And uh, he'll be joining us in just a second. But first, let's read through the chat just a little bit. We have, uh, let's see, let's scroll up. Uh, Ethereal Dragon says, hi, Radka. Well, no hi for me, Dragon. That's a little messed up. We have Bat on my face wondering what he's doing here. You're watching a live stream, bro. And uh, that one guy, Rev, I brought cupcakes. You know I'm on a diet, Rev. That's why would you tease me like that? Uh, Vicky saying hi to Simple Jack. Once again, not saying hi to me. Uh, you guys are kind of messed up for that. A little mean. Johnny Midnight says, I got my popcorn and watching in 8K, but the stream only uh, like goes out in 1080p. That's like, I don't know how much less. I think like divided by, what, like four? Uh, Catherine Mann says, Madness. Vicky uh, greets Colonel Morg. And, uh, you know, we got quite a bit of other people just saying hi. So, oh, Johnny Midnight asks, how's Distance Mom? Oh, she's, uh, she's not doing too great, but she's here. She's here. Um, and uh, Nerdette's newsstand saying hi to Vicky. Still not saying hi to me. That's kind of messed up. But uh, let's go ahead and welcome our guest, Mark Brooks. Hello, Mark Brooks. Hello, Dean. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing okay. Uh, we have we're going to be talking about quite a bit. Uh, quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. I I, I kind of assumed. Um, I, uh, I I like your intro video. Um, I, I feel like you might be uh, trying to uh, 
trying to uh, rope a dope me on with that one, but but I, I definitely appreciate it. I'm just trying to uh, get in good with my new Marvel employers because uh, <laughs> I get paid by Marvel apparently. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know what? I can neither confirm nor deny that you're now on the uh, the official payroll. Nice. Does that come with benefits? Uh, no, not any more than I than mine do. So I'm going to say no to that. Oh. Um. I will say, listen, I, I know that um, that, you know, you and I, there's a lot of things that you and I disagree on heavily. Yeah. And um, and I'm, I'm, I've been looking forward to talking to you all day and, you know, obviously been a little nervous. You know, I haven't done one of these in a really long time, but um, I just hope that you and I can respect each other's feelings and oh, opinions. Yeah, of and course. That we can, like, you know, even if we disagree on something that we can have like a, a nice, normal discussion. Yeah. Uh, so Stu, by the way, is wondering where his check is, uh, Mr. Bossman. Uh, he, the, the, he's going to have to contact um, the uh, the uh, payroll. Um, if he has Google Black, he can log on to his Google Black app, and uh, he should be able to find the contact information for payroll through there. Okay. All right. Yeah, I was actually wondering, too, so thanks for that. Yeah, um, you're welcome. Yeah. So uh, I just wanted to see, though... Y- before we get into like the really juicy stuff, uh, you saw, you saw Maverick, right? I did. Yeah. Did you? I assume. Yeah. No, it was great. I actually saw it before I watched Top Gun. I just uh, watched Top Gun last night because of it. Wait, you watched them out of order? I did. I did. I'd never seen Top Gun. Actually, uh, Maverick was probably the second Tom Cruise movie I've ever watched. Really? Yeah. I think Tom wow, Cruise right. did the original, I mean, not the original, the Mummy remake. Yeah, the terrible, yeah, the terrible, that, terrible Mummy remake. Yeah, That was the first one. That was awful. Are you 12? I mean, what the hell? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, uh, well, I'm 28. <laughs> mentally, I'm probably about 12, I think. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, I did go see it. Um, I waited a few weeks, uh, and I, I went and saw it on Saturday. And, of course, I had, I've seen Top Gun. And um, I, I am curious what your feelings are, all because I feel like there was a lot of things in, in, in Maverick that kind of, like, were callbacks to the original movie. And I wonder, was it as good for you not having seen the original one? Um, well, I have, I have a few different thoughts. But, like, like did, you, did you like it? I did. I did actually. I really, I, I really liked it. Um, and so, people had told me that you have to see Top Gun, uh, first, but I didn't. But uh, it's like they did a good enough job explaining, uh, the 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 backstory ish. Like you didn't mm-hmm. actually have to see the first one to understand like the the contents of the second one. But there are oh, callbacks no, for no, sure. No, yeah. They're definitely yeah. like. Uh, there's this scene where they're training um, and Tom Cruise, he's teaching uh, and they're doing like the, the shoot down training like right. to see if they can shoot him down. But he like flies up towards the sun to blind him. Right. And that's like a callback from the last dog fight in Top Gun. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, thought- there's, there's a lot of that. We, we, you know, we probably should mention it if we're going to talk about this because I, I haven't got to talk to anybody about this um, since I saw it on Saturday. We should mention we're probably going to have a lot of spoilers in here, so you know, just forewarning for anybody that hasn't seen it yet. But um, yeah, I mean, the thing for me was like Top Gun. Obviously, I saw it when I was like seventh grade, right? Yeah. Um, and and of course, I'm like, how old am I at that time? I'm eleven or twelve. I didn't realize it was the homoerotic fantasy that it that it was, um, and and I think that's great. I, th- I think it's it, it's great that it's become this like this this great, especially right now during Pride Month, for it to be like this this big, um, th- this this big like icon to the gay community. Um, but because at the time, all I thought was I just want to be a fighter pilot so badly, you know, watching this movie and. Mm-hmm. But when you watch it now, and um, you said you've seen Top Gun, how long ago did you see Top Gun? I just I just saw it last night. Just last night. Yes. Okay. So the thing at the time, like when when I'm eleven or twelve, it's an amazing movie. But you watch it now, it is full on, just super cheesy, mm-hmm. right? I mean, the, the dog fights and all that is it still holds up. 
but the dialogue and everything about it is just really, really cheesy. It is. And it, it's, it's, it's like, it's very cheesy without a I doubt. Say, it's 80s as hell. And, and so when you watch, um, when I went and saw Maverick, I, I, I hadn't seen Top Gun, you know, in, in a while. And I'm sitting down watching Maverick. And after like 15 minutes, you know, I'm thinking, oh, this movie's really cheesy. And I was like, oh, wait. It's Top Gun. It's supposed to be cheesy, and and, and it and I, I like went right back into that mindset of like just pure just Swiss and cheddar. It, it's it's the dialogue is so bad, and but in that great '80s way, they really did carry it over from the original and did a perfect job of it. Yeah, no, without I didn't think it was that cheesy though. Like they definitely like because the first one is extremely extremely cheesy like uh there's just no doubt about it oh uh, yeah but the second one it wasn't as cheesy it is a little cheesy i did uh i i gotta say like they like, the point is like tom cruise didn't mature that much between movies as like i think like the gist of things but he definitely wasn't nearly as immature because that first one i'm like how did this guy even get into like the navy uh with, with like his attitude right oh he's like a whiny child in the first one and in the next one he's a whiny adult um but yeah a little obviously a little more mature and, and you are right Th this movie is not as cheesy as the first one but i think that th they th it could have gone really badly like like they could have just tried to like make it a 2022 movie instead of like going okay we need to really pay homage to what came before and the reason that people are going to come see this, like the people that are were in their, you know, in the, in their tens and teens are now, you know, for the most part, middle aged. Mm -hmm. But they remember that movie and Top Gun holds up. People have, you know, most people that are going to go see this movie have probably seen Top Gun the last two or three years, I would think. Yeah. Um, you know, so so they're going to want that Top Gun cheese with that really awesome like action and stuff and, and i do love that in the first movie the way the fighter jets flew fighter jets don't, never really flew that way right they they, they just kind of like made it they kind of did their own little gymnastics and in this one the fighter jets are literally doing olympic level gymnastic stunts yeah and and i loved every second of it it was great so it was one of the f uh, so this is like it's not in the movie, but it was something that happened while I watched it, uh, and I thought was really interesting. Was uh, I'm watching the movie and there's these like girls that are like whispering in like the seats behind me, and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden one of their phones like really loud. The whole theater heard it. it was just like Tom Cruise is 59 years old, <laughs> and the whole theater started laughing. But I was like, holy shit, Tom Cruise is 59 years old? Yeah, I mean, well, did, did, did you have a thing in your theater? Because when, when we when the movie started, there was like a short little 30-second thing of just Tom Cruise talking to the audience. Yeah, yeah. And I realized, because I'd you know, i seen the trailers for the movie and seen him in you know the Mission Impossible trailer they showed before. Um, and then they showed Tom Cruise just sitting there talking to the camera, and he looked like he was 80. He does look a lot older when he's talking to the camera. I wouldn't say 80. I'd say like, you know, like maybe 65, 70. Yeah, I'm exaggerating, but he did look like, I mean, maybe it was the hair or whatever, but he just mm -hmm. looked, it was kind of like jarring. Like, like the first time you saw, you know, Harrison Ford play Indiana Jones again, and you're like, wow, yikes. Okay. You know, it, it was, it was really weird. But other than that, you know, movie was great. I do love that they carried on the 80s tradition of, um, he did something wrong, and they and they literally fire him. They're like, "You're off. You're done. You're grounded." And so he goes, "Okay, I'm going to do something even more outrageous and illegal. I'm going to steal a thirty-six million yeah. dollars debt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and and go do this thing. And then his captain John Hamm is like, "God damn it, Maverick! You beautiful son of a bitch! Get back in here!" Yeah, that was that was hilarious. Uh, one thing I thought was. It like I didn't feel like the second one was homoerotic enough, like in comparison. Once I saw the first one, well, they gave us the football scene. They gave us the beach shirtless football scene, you know. So yeah, I mean, but they, they weren't like playing that. tackle, you know. Like it wasn't. 
I think they should have one up Dengon like full on like mud wrestling. Something. I mean, you know, the one thing the movie was missing that the 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 first movie. There's one scene in Top Gun that every time I see it, I'm just like, wow, I I get it now. Um, there's the scene where they're all in their towels and mm-hmm. they're all like arguing in the locker room. It's not a sauna; it's a locker room. But they're all just really comfy, just walking around in their towels, and um and uh, Iceman smarts off to to Maverick to Tom Cruise, and Tom Cruise walks over to Goose who's sitting on a bench against the wall. Yeah. And Tom Cruise raises his leg up and puts it on on the the bench, spreads his towel wide open, and just crotch right in Goose's face, and just has an entire monologue like yep. that. And Goose just sits there. And, and and why Maverick didn't have that, I have no idea. There needs there needed to be some kind of like scene like that in there. I mean, I, I give the people what they want, right? Yeah, no, I agree. Especially like it's Pride Month, you know what I mean? Like they should have really one upped it. But uh, it was interesting. Like, why would you put your crotch in someone's face like that? You know what? I got to think that just him and Goose are very close. Yeah. You know, I've got to think they've probably seen each other's junk dozens of times at that point. It's probably no big deal at that point. Yeah, I mean, I I guess so. They probably, I don't know, they probably mud wrestled, that's for sure. (laughs) <laughs> you know you know I, it, talking about comparing contrast the one thing i love about um about top gun and this is that they didn't just follow the same storyline i mean it was similar in that you know new people coming into top gun learning to blah blah but when you watch top gun the, the actual final mission you don't learn that until like five minutes before the actual final mission starts and in this movie they right from the jump they're like this is the the goal of the movie this is the end goal is to run this canyon run and drop a bomb on this you know plutonium enrichment plant and the entire movie is leading up to them doing this final mission but then when you get to the final mission that's not the final mission because they end up doing it and then it turns into a miles teller tom cruise like final mission yeah. Which I thought was really, really cool. Yeah, that was really that was actually pretty cool. Um but but uh I think it, we should probably go ahead and uh maybe move on. Uh are you cool sure. with that? All right. Ten, eight, twelve, fifteen. The nest has eyes. It is someone close to you. Mickey, you're so fine. You need to act now. The check is in the mail. Oscar, Whiskey, November, Echo, Delta. Repeat. Oscar, Whiskey, November, Echo, Delta. Out. Well, that was that was weird. What the fuck was that? I don't know, but I'm being told we've uh, run out of time. Uh, is there anything you want to uh, say before we go? Uh, uh, I guess. Um... Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, we're done. All right. Um, you can follow me on uh, Twitter at, at Mark Brooks Art or on Instagram at Art Brooks, Mark, at Mark Brooks Art. Sorry. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, thanks for having me, Dean. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming. I'm sorry that we've uh, mysteriously run out of time. I want to give my apologies to Matt Damon. Unfortunately, we were going to have him on, but we ran out of time. All right. Oh, I love that guy. Yeah. No, he's a piece of shit. All right. Goodbye, guys. All right. SJW1 out.